Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can create a button in Android Studio and then use Kotlin to have an on-click event on our button, which in this case is just going to be printing something to the console. So I'll just showcase the basic principles, but we're not really going to be using it for too much. So for now, I just have a very simple application in set up in Android Studio, which is just an empty activity, where I just have a single main activity, which is an onCreate method which simply sets up our application when the application is started. We then have our simple activity main. We can see the code or we can choose the design, which I prefer. And I'm only looking at this design instead of design and blueprint. So just keep the design for now. And we just have a simple text view saying, hello world. We can then create a button by dragging and dropping a button from this palette. And we can then do some basic constraints, trying to switch the top. To the sides to keep it centered, I will then have it be down 50 dp from the top. And I'll have another video which will link in the description talking more about the constraint layout and how it works and what we can actually do with it. But for now, we just have a simple button. It is constrained to be 15 dp from the top and be centered. I would then have a look at all the declared attributes. We have an ID and we have the text of our button. And it's actually not optimal to define our text directly here. So right now we're calling the button. So we can just do click, for example, and change here. What we would actually prefer is that inside resources, values, strings, we would create a new string. And it would be called, let's just call it button text for now. And we would then contain some text. So we would do click me, for example. And we would then inside our activity, our button, instead of having it be click me, we do an add button text. This allows for all our strings to be kept in this values XML file. And when building more complex apps, this is easy and fast when changing stuff. And it also allows furthermore for multiple languages if you would like that in the future. But for now we just have a simple button. We've added some text through our values XML, strings XML file. We would then like to add an on-click event on our button. We then add a declared attribute. I would then simply just search for on click like that. We would now then instead of doing it directly Connecting stuff, I would first create a method, a function as we call it in Kotlin. So a function, I would just call it button click. So all these variable names are not very good, but it's just to showcase we could do it. And for this method, this function, then to be connected to our entire program, we would tell it that it would take in a view attribute of type view. And we'd like to add a question mark because it could be null. So this allows any attributes type view input it here to be nullable. Now, because we have this setup of function, we could go back into our activity main, click our button, and well, obviously our unclick disappeared because we didn't add a value, so we would find it again. And this time, I would simply use this drop down menu and then under main activity, which is our other kind of like controller like class, I will then click the button click method and they are now connected. See here. And I will then inside our button click be able to do anything. I would then add print a land for example. And I would then just simply print button clicked in the console. So now I can rerun my application. And we give it a few seconds to rebuild the app. We now have this click me button. I would then have the console. I would then click the button. And we can then see down here that on our system out, we have button clicked. So that is how I would construct a simple button in an activity XML. Constrained it. As mentioned, we'll talk more about this later, how we constrain and what we can actually do with this. Add some text through our value strings XML. And then add our on click button click through a method inside our main activity using the setup of a function with an input of a view. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can construct a button in 
Android Studio and set up an on-click event with Kotlin. Please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.